Hi, this is Steve Hansen. I'm the Director of User Education here at LabKey Software. And in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can visualize data inside of LabKey Server using Tableau Desktop. I'm going to divide this presentation into three parts. First, uh, I'm going to provide a quick introduction to LabKey Server, what are its key features. Uh, second, let's take a look at how to connect LabKey Server and Tableau Desktop so that Tableau can see the data that's in there and work with it. And finally, let's take a look at how to actually build visualizations in Tableau on that data. Before I get started, actually, let's, let's skip to the end. This is the, the actual dashboard, the final result of, of my work here. Uh, and this represents different visualizations on a research study that I created inside of LabKey Server. This is a research study that involves HIV patients and their health and a number of their disease progression metrics. Uh, these will become a little more meaningful when we, when we look at that data in detail, but you know, you can see that I have a visualizations that show their uh, health over time and can also visualizations that compare the healthy patients with the less healthy patients and also uh, gives a sense of their, uh, their geographic distribution. But let's go back to the beginning and take a look at some of the key features inside of LabKey Server. LabKey Server really is a very broad platform for working with biomedical and scientific data generally. We can work with very small teams, just a single laboratory that has a few experiments, or with larger teams like whole laboratory consortiums that have a whole bunch of different research studies that they need to manage and also with large pharmaceutical companies who are uh, building new drugs and therapies. There are a whole set of features around capturing laboratory experimental and clinical data from uh, diverse sources, and these diverse sources could mean anything like, you know, a simple Excel file, or pre-existing database data, or electronic data capture systems. These are online survey systems where a patient might enter, say, a medical history or their drug allergies before they enter a clinical trial or a research study. And we've also recently introduced the ability to collect data from mobile phones and tablets. There are also a whole set of features around, let's call it data shaping. Uh, when you pull in data from lots of different places, you need to be able to integrate it, latch it together, uh, shape it, and and reform it into something queryable and meaningful. And also put it into a form where you can build reports on top of it, whether those are simple grid summary reports or full-blown visualizations. There are a number of different features around building collaboration portals for different audiences. You may have a large set of data, but you want to present just a sliver of it to the general public or just a profile of it but also present the whole set of data to your own interior research team. And you may even want to present a, another set of the data, a very curated and perfected form of the data to support a journal publication of your research results. There are also a whole set of features around security. We allow very fine-grained security in LabKey. We let you shave off just the data you want to show to a particular audience. And we also have a set of features around protecting patient privacy. These are called compliance features because they help researchers comply with the many government standards around patient data and patient privacy. And these include features like requiring a researcher to sign a terms of use before they enter the system, and also declare their reason why they're entering the system and viewing data. Once they're in the system, we are able to log all of their activities inside of it, such as which queries they've actually viewed and which patient IDs they've actually viewed. These are all logged and then can be reviewed later by uh, an administrator. These features also include de-identifying data so that we're able to mask or randomize patient IDs, names, etc. So that's just a quick overview of some of the key features that are relevant here inside of LabKey Server. There's much more, but let's keep going here. 
So let's actually take a look at the data I've prepared inside of Lab Key Server so we can get a sense of what we're actually going to be visualizing. Here is a fictional research study that I've created inside of Lab Key Server. This is all data I just invented with number generators, but it's meant to be realistic and to reflect real events in HIV research. I've collected a number of different tables of data, notably some blood chemistry data here. And um, this is a, a research study around HIV, and one of the key metrics in HIV research is the CD4 levels of a patient. CD4 is a kind of white blood cell that's attacked by the HIV virus. So your metric here is going to tell you a lot about the health of your patients and their disease progression. Also, I've set up a number of really important dimensions inside of this data. For example, this column here tells me whether a patient is HIV positive or HIV negative. And these columns here tell me whether they're receiving treatment and what kind of treatment they're receiving. And I'd like to be able to compare these different groupings or dimensions against one another uh, to see how my patients are doing. So that's the data I'm working with. Let's go on to the second part and, and see how you can connect LabKey Server with Tableau. So to connect LabKey Server with Tableau, I have turned on the external analytics connections feature. This exposes data inside the server over an ODBC connection. All I had to do was just turn it on. I placed a little check mark here, and I also indicated the port that I want the data to be exposed on, and by default it's port number 5435. This is a, a really a pretty generic form of exposing the data. It makes it available to uh, any number of tools, including Excel, Access, and also Tableau Desktop. I had to do one more thing to make this data available to Tableau. I had to create a system data source name. And this basically wraps uh, some chunk of the data inside the server, in this case, the testing project where my data exists, and gives it a name. And I gave it the name My Lab Key Data. I also had to enter my username and password here. And this is, this is notable because this connection will respect the security settings that are already set up inside the server. In this case, I'm an administrator, so this is a very broad connection. It pretty much exposes all the data in the server. But if I were a different user with lower permissions, this connection would just expose the data that I've been set up to see, say, a particular project, or some particular slice of the data. So that's really it in terms of setting up the connection between the two. So let's take a look at the actual visualizations that I've created. These might be a little bit more meaningful now with some context. This one is a geographic distribution of the patients that I've enrolled in my study. This was very easy to do in Tableau. This one here, let's drill into it a little more closely. This visualization here is comparing the HIV negative group against the HIV positive group. And we're measuring their CD4 levels here over time, over the 750 days of the study. And as you can see, the blue circles indicate HIV positive individuals. They have depressed CD4 levels, as you would expect. And the orange circles indicate HIV negative individuals, essentially my control group in this in the study, and they have normal CD4 levels. I've also created a uh, scatter plot here. This is showing blood pressure of my patients, and there's a slight variance here between the HIV positive and the HIV negative group that may reflect certain stresses uh, on their system. One notable feature here in Tableau is this trend line. This was very simple to do in Tableau. I just had to basically turn on this show the trend line features, and it gave me these trend lines for free. These visualizations really extend LabKey Server's native capabilities and make it very easy to build these out. LabKey Server and Tableau make a great team here. LabKey Server can provide the data shaping and data curation in this system, and also the data security whereas Tableau provides many easy tools for creating great visualizations, very vivid, beautiful visualizations. Well, thank you for listening, and I hope you explore these uh, two great tools uh, together.